though. We have to stand up and make our voices heard like the MLK did back in the day. And we have to stand up to this pornography. We have to stand up to what I like to call the pornography of power. We, we need to have an unshakable spirit towards the final jobs and justice. We need to choose community over chaos and continue work with and for our fellow man and woman. We need a foreign policy that's not based on war, but it's based on diplomacy. Yeah. Labor needs to redefine itself, not just taking the task of servicing its members. But we need to make sure we educate our members and educate our young members and mobilizing them, let them know the true issues. Because right now our young people, and I don't see a lot of young people here, but our young people are in a, in, you know what a flash mob is, where you're dancing and you go to a, a train station, or you go to the airport, and all of a sudden you're sitting there waiting for your plane, then 30 people come in Trench Coast and they do a dance, and then 30 minutes gone, they're going, you're like, what the hell just happened? Well, right now, are, are you ever seen that commercial where the guy didn't get the memo about the flash mob and he was there by himself and he's doing a dance and he only had four S instead of five S or three S instead of four S? That's where our young people are right now. They're not getting the memo. We need to make sure they get the memo. We need to educate them on the issues because right now, this is not just about us, this is about them. Labor needs to get back in their communities and build coalitions that can never be broken again. Build coalitions between faith, unity, and community that can never be broken again because the people are down right now, but we are not out. This is a fight they wanted. This is a fight they started. But if it's a fight they want, it's a fight they're going to get. And in the spirit, Dr. King, I'm talking about a peaceful fight, a fight where we bring everything to the table. Like my mom used to say back in the day, money, marbles, and chalk, everything it takes to play, and we will prevail. Everything, like they did 48 years ago with the March on Washington, MLK's day. A wise man once said, a cure to ills of democracy is more democracy. So I don't care whether you're a Democrat or you're a Republican. We need to vote to people in that care about middle class issues and care about bringing our community together. Because this is about justice. This is about history. And I guarantee you when this is all said and done, we will be on the right side of justice and the right side of history. Because we have an obligation. We have a mandate. No, we have a mission to speak up and out against. Get on our feet. Because right now, people are hurting. Dr. King said it best. Our lives begin to end when we become silent about the things that matter. We need jobs, we need justice, and we need a society that is just for all to succeed. I see it as our calling, no, I see it as our duty for civil rights, labor rights, and American politics to join together to make this a better place for all, not just a select few. We have the ability to accomplish it, and our state has the ability to provide it. Solidarity, brothers and sisters, I love you all. One day longer! One day longer! Solidarity, brothers!